longer to find out. It's time to dive into map number one here. The upper oh bracket to be decided. Already? And it's already off to a quick start. Marv, tucked in the corner, has an opportunity as the players walk by. They clear him, but not quick enough. A double for Marv, and now B is over. To delay them a bit, but he's kind of waiting for his teammate in Sadak. To they need to find some duels to flash. Getting the space, Sadak trying to fight his way onto the site, but look at Optic just tucked away oh. in the corners. Eventually an opportunity is given time, starts to be a problem. Ammunition as well, down to his last bullet. He oh my gosh. the ghost, but even after those two kills, that's all that's... Well, speaking of aggression, look at Victor, he's already around the corner. Record pace as he blitzes in towards this site, opens up a ton of space. And for loud, you know, they're reacting to this. They're sending the and they're players. just walking Over up. Sassy's he's alone on long range and now up against a headhunter. He is oh. going to be taken down quite quickly. This is a very, very strong round out of Optic with only one player going down so far. And they're even getting some orbs out of it as well. If they can manage to avoid losing anyone else, this will be pretty perfect. And Ye, though, does kind of want to get aggressive. He's not. He's only got a classic yeah. to back up his headhunter. Enemy remaining. Three. <laughs> the slide. Yeah, okay, just styling. And then we can call it back to what does Our? on either side that you're not currently covering. So they do still have an awful lot of information because those haven't been broken. They know where this push is going to be coming through. Even okay. still, though, one for one trade early is pretty good. And Marv, well, there you go. That's the all online. Sadik tried to get out of there and he just cut oh, the, spawn. the other players locked out of the site, stuck in towards the defender spawn. And Tom, this is a round that they come in with rifles on the defensive side. They want to be dominating these duels, but Optic keep on finding fights. One versus X. It's always in their favor. For now, though, at least Crashies is being dealt with. That was an opportunity for Ye. The recovered Vandal not yet finding anything. The plant down for the 2v2. Oh, FNS. FNS. I mean, they haven't spotted him, but they know they they're not going to expect him here. This control. There's no way. It's still a tough position to clear as they push forward. And they're using utility past him. So he knows roughly where these players are going to be. They have absolutely no idea. An easy clear of Marv swings off that initial contact. Great work from Optic. With it being Optic's map, I suppose this is exactly what they wanted. Now with the weak weapons, quick flash as well. This is again. Oh my god, dude, Vic's just getting all the entries in. Just absolutely farming. Then in this case, obviously find some kills, but with players not having rifles, I won't, we won't read too much into that. For Loud, it's about finding a little bit of extra damage. Even then, that's going to be very difficult to do in a 3v5 post plant. Yeah, you can actually see the absurd amount of utility they put in there, even though they know it's just pistol. But Carter, though, has been able to find one. Anything more than oh? get here a second. That's a rifle into their hands as well, giving them at least a little bit of an opportunity. Less trade back ball. another into a 2v2 scenario. This was looking like a done deal in the 5v3, but somehow Loud are making it look good. If the race gets another kill, he gets a... Recovering it indeed, but still have to get towards that site. Time's not on their side and crashes. Oh, never mind. I think it's out of time. Maneuver, making his way across. As you can see, it won't have any sort of impact anyways, because Loud realized the clock was way too far gone. That's 4-0. to zero. Three kills, though. I mean, we were doubting. That means you got to look elsewhere, though. And the B site is where they're deciding to take things. Spike's still on Crash. He's in spawn, but he's making his way through. Oh, maybe he's not. Damn, he just has to go is through. This a, is this a huge fake? Already throw the wall. <laughs> Victor's got one. <laughs> the he slide. Down, and they're still I, think, I think they have an idea. They have an they idea that they're coming back. While the rest of the team roots back to the A site. The problem is they haven't been able to smoke everything off. You can see the cross is currently being held. Aspas is in position and they've already used their remaining smoke just to try and stop anybody coming out from the bounce. Two players here, a third rotating, but already Marv is going to take the head off one. Aspas needs to get something and it's absolutely nothing. The toy Safe of like kill, anything. Dragging the rotations off of A in terms of like flashes. And Plus, it kind of used, the, it kind of does like what Silver or like Sky does on like maps where... For some of these defensive side aggressive rounds and here's an opportunity oh, no. with Sadik. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Optic were ready. They read them like a book. Oh, information as we tend a little bit further. Yeah, see, on. dude, the knife just clears everything for you. Utility on this defensive side. We saw the nade go down early. Now the snake bites are being used to slow them down a little bit more. That flash is good, and the, oh, the response <laughs> is so clean. Victor Holy is just deep aiming on every site. It seems like no matter where Optic decide to go, Spike planted. The loud defense just crumbles within seconds. You know I mean, what? Fresh off a timeout as Optics well, comp is like pretty good. what that does to the morale of the team now? Because just yeah, having breaches like the solo flash, you can kind of dodge it and you know that a flash can come through a wall. To the setup as well. And then the KO just right click just adds a whole another element to it. Same coming through from FNS. 
sassy, of course. This is a man that you never really want to face because if he has the positioning, he's going to land the shot. But Marv, well, at this point, a con whole team to contend with. I think, I think the thing is, though, a lot of that looked like they were trying to bait out some ults, which they did. Like, obviously, the utility was nice, but mm -hmm. there was four ults on the side of the defense. So they were expecting something to be used off the back of that push. Now, luckily, they have yay. So he's just going to be able to find an opener, and there isn't a lot left on the other side. I will say, as fast with a showstopper and everybody running through in the other direction, but he might have actually been caught there. I don't know if he's going to be able to use it and just has to pull back and try and wait. They've managed at least to do a little bit of damage, but in the meantime, that control is just being taken on the other side. Aspas at least will be able to get one. And Holy shit, what's happening? That rolling thunder coming through, it looks like they Wait. commit to this. They're almost winning this. Loud having Sassy walk all the way around. He is on 5 HP. Handle on his own now to make this little flank play up through main, but... Oh, Ye was looking at it for a second. He's about to be blocked out by the wall. And as he tries to go back through it, the showstopper comes Oh, he in. saw him. Sassy catches the flank. And now FNS is left alone. He's got to go fast if he wants to deny this. The stun comes through. That has pulled them off the defuse for a second. And he gambles that they did just that. Now, though, forced into the open. A good opportunity. One HP. It's Aspas that comes out on top with one. Loud a second to rest. They've overrun the site. But again, Opti or Loud are happy to give up that control. They've got to hold on after. And Victor, he is just... Oh, he's distracted the ball. They're so worried about this Oh, guy. my God. Crash, he's just able to spray them. Oh, man. He's in their heads. He's deep in their heads. It's just given so much space to Crashies to take that swing, knowing that they've been forced out of the tower and the remaining two have no choice but to save. And, and this is the difference for Optic. They've been selling that fake fast round for so long. Like we, we've seen it throughout the game so far. It's like, okay, we're just going to throw Victor. Okay, now we're just going to throw in steps. Yeah. We're not even going to do anything else. This time they go aggressively. The control is given up. But because of that, they're forced into awkward positions. And they what know how far the Victor is willing to push. He's still pushing. He hasn't let go of the W key. He's looking for that last man, and Sadak is doing his best to try and survive. I think he might just be able to hold on to the weapon. No, him. And the rest having pistols. Need that judge being on the beast. Oh my god, Vic. What? All right. That, that, that does just about sum up the kind of time Loud are having so far. Aspis has been pretty good with the Sheriff. Triple kill to win out the one round that they had surviving on one HP, but this is a little bit of, of a different task, right? They're not retaking, they're not showstoppering. Instead, they're trying to defeat an optic five man aggressive strategy. And with pistols, well, the, the result is as expected. Yeah, not too much trouble. Zero damage. So far, zero damage. So far, you know. There you go. There's the, oh, that's not the damage you want. <laughs> 145 heads of direction. Again, an incredibly fast take in towards the site. Mars has taken a lot of damage, and yeah, he's taken even more. <laughs> he's died to his own teammate's utility. Definitely not ideal in this take, and in fact, I wonder if they're going to try and back out of here. In fact, no, they're going to plant themselves a relatively open position. Victor knows oh. that he needs to try and get aggressive. And while I say it was open, he actually goes down and a cheeky little blast pack kill coming out from Aspas. Considering how this round started, it was looking like Loud were down and out, but now starting to recover a little bit more control. Marv tries to plant, he's going to die instantly to the ulti. Left. He's holding that orb. Unless... Like ready to drop it down from the sky above. Oh, this oh my god, he wait. Dude. Might have gotten a plant. If he nice that... The round is done. The orbital strike confirms it. Crashies. Well, he'll go down after time as well. Eight he like thought two. about knifing for a, a second, second and then he cancelled it. For loud. I don't know this map's actually pretty nice. Plant, he, which, like, you know, cause aiming controls like, everything, they didn't find what they usually and find, which is like six you're able kills. to just take so, it so free yeah, because um, you have like the around, breach done with the neon stun, plant. and you literally just run up. Well, he's catching that one for free. No idea about the player on the left though. It genuinely may not matter. I don't know. The timing is good enough. Pancada. Oh, shit! Mark <laughs> just straight, straight through the door. Into the site goes one. As fast as been able to trade it back into a workable position. Victor above, though, hasn't been cleared. Sassy left alone, trying to get something done. He's going to oh. pop the over. Victor's just too clean today. For loud. They put everything they can into this round, investing it all. And that stun is so good. Victor coming oh, through the with flash. the opening. And the follow-up there from Marv, trading it out. Aspas has no choice but to run for the hills. Oh, they're going to have to dig deep to come up with a third round here. It's a 3v4. Yeah, and again, it's the slowdown from Optic. They've already got what they needed. They can just wait for the, their opponents to re-aggress and rotate. 
slowly clearing out the site. But again, they don't know if anybody's actually still around this area. And after finding a couple of initial jewels, they're now just allowing Ye to almost lurk in from behind. And the de well, it's almost going to depend on which direction they gamble. Quick's going wild right now. I know. I, want, I need to see how many first bloods this guy has. They might just opt to wrap back around. They've got plenty of time. They're ready with the stun here. Oh! Smoke pushing Sadik out of the site. The stun comes in up above. Got the information on Aspis being in this position. Still hard to hold on. He's only got a Spectre to work with. Dodges the first flash. Blast pack through. He doesn't want to overcommit to it, and the flash gets him. <laughs> the double KO Static flash. Last man alive. This is where the Tour de Force might be able to find some value now that the smokes start to fade, but even still, 1v4. How much hope can you realistically have? He spotted him that having a decent bit of a foothold to fight back into. In fact, they're just running it down again. Look at the pace. The flashes. Guys, Victor's on sight. The flash is so good, though. It slows down the rest does of Kale the have another flash? It allows them to eliminate no, Victor, not. but they still need to get a foothold of their own. Loud are crammed into the corner of the site. It's Sadik who has to open up this side angle. Marved already eliminated. The duels working out well, but they've caught him. This is looking a little bit scary. FNS. Managing to oh take my down gosh. Sassy confirms the round, and with that pistol going optics way, they could come out on Yay as the escape. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he took so, so much He'll damage. Down to 24 HP. Yay in the snake bite only needs the one bullet crash. He's is down too. Loud actually answering up here with next to nothing in their hands coming into this round. They're actually doing quite a bit on the force. This could be a third for them and a recovery of a disastrous scenario. It's not over yet though. Still players able to try and fight their way back through and fix alive. Yeah, he's looking to try and sneak his way forward. The rest of the team isolated by the smokes is definitely going to make things a little bit more difficult on that way back in. Already though, the stun the stuns. He's just insta-kill Pancada. Now looks to try and take that space even further. He's just farming up kills. Another what? to his name! Victor, it's you know just think about it? Don't buff me on. <laughs> Let's move on to the this next character's actually pretty done. good. Oh, that is devastating around to the point that they're already trying to figure out. They're trying to recover a round when it's only just started. Adapting to Optic's play here is, I mean, next to impossible on the fly. And you can see that, I, I mean, I hate to say it, but Loud were not ready, evidently. Oh, there's at least some sort of buy. It's definitely not the prettiest. Yeah, he's already decimated one. He's not going to be able to escape, but even with hope that he's already rotated to the other side, that they don't have this information to play with the headshot angle. Tough for FNS. He does so much damage, and he's actually deterred them from any further oh, aggression, Tom. They have no control of Dish, nothing in main. I mean, the attempt from Sassy oh, this to is take looking some rough. control gets slapped and wow. shut down. Wow. What a map from Optics. Dominated on map number one. Incredibly good position. <laughs> oh, they saw the spawn, guys. Oh, the flash! Oh, that was, I thought it was a flash. That was a molly. <laughs> Shit. Dude, that seriously looks like a flash to me. Luckily, he is someone you can rely on. I should get rid of the recon at least, but with Finesse going down in mid, this is getting scary, and none of the shots are hitting. Yeah, he has to do it all. He'll get two to finish this off. But that is where it stops. Loud picking up the disturb like that. He'll be able to get They're massive value. Flash. More than that, though, is the flash. flash coming through. The dash out. Sadik, though, is left to deal with this. His teammate comes back. And it looks like they've managed to oh, actually deal They had the right read, but... Ah! <laughs> well. Just walks into the corner, reloading. Yeah, wow. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, there was definitely no finesse in that. Let's put it yeah, dude, they, they actually had the correct read right uh, there. Eventually, that... Uh, we saw the Marshall grab looking to move towards the A site right away, and this is a good call with the numbers thinned down on the side. They've already revealed Marshall. Oh! On the back side, Finesse though, getting away with a quick kill. It thins out the numbers, it's gonna make it easier for Marv, but it's still a pretty tough task. And he'll go down without anything to be said. Rotation being held as well. They've heard the footsteps of Ye, and he was aware for a second, but Les doesn't manage to capitalize. Not able to get that kill. And may not oh my god. That the second player is there. Wait, did, did you hear him? Of someone coming in on the flank, and in the meantime... The, dude, they're taking over sight. Take show, show the sight battle. Somewhat makes this fight irrelevant. Zadok, the last one standing to try and hold on here, but Finesse will be the one to put him in the grave. <laughs> the observers are like tunneling on this fight when they're taking, they're retaking the sight right now. Going into the next, but they could have got a lot more. A lot of this utility and avoid the null command. The 
spray through from Finesse as well is almost just delaying them. The main surprise is two players within the back of the site. Now they're going to spot the first and they know that Ye's here because he's already managed to find himself a kill or at least put a player down. Nothing else to be found by him. Crashies tries to step it up, but is down. Oh my gosh. Flash. Beautiful. Finesse had nowhere to go. Victor and Marv left with it all to do, and despite that early shock dart, tagging up a bunch of players, doing a whole lot of QR. Hey, yo, better than Sky. With everything that they can do. Honestly, I think every map right now. Actually, Optic picked up the pace quite quickly, moving in towards the site, grabbing themselves a couple of kills. This is getting a little bit worrying now for Loud, as the frags are really swinging Optic's way. What? With an arrow out, not a chance for good old Sassy. And so Optic. What just happened? Change the game. Yeah, the key thing for Optic in this map seems to be. Oh my God! How many players have pushed up here? <gasps> Aspis doesn't get away. Now he's naded in the corner. He's trying to stay above it. He'll at least survive a moment longer. But he has no way out. And he's taking. Wait, down what? He got out. Aggression. Optic. They will not. Forty seconds or thereabouts. As you said, two players back site. You've got another in the form of Victor up above. This guy's taking the turret! He got the kill? Is down. Okay, Loud might have a way in. I still need to deal with these players. And the Hunter's Fury comes through for two! He, he just took 100 damage from the turret! And as closes it out instead. Three to three. Tillany's gonna be down for now. That could be a big blow, but actually it's just about to come back online. He's not oh no, they don't. It, though. Instead, having to fight these players. Panicking to put down the utility and keep them out of spots, and it's working. The I thought they figured it out off of the. Uh, down, but he has already slowed the push. Already dealt off the, the damage, and with 15 seconds left, Loud have practically no chance of getting in here. Crashy's ready and waiting. 10 seconds left, and he'll get the final through the smoke, through the wall. You know, for Optic, I'm. Those nades pretty much countering each other out completely. The utility falls to nothing. The paranoia is not going to get them what they wanted. They're being slowed down to try and allow the mid push to come through. But the explosion out of loud is perfectly timed. They take the space, the duels going their way, and, and oh. Finesse can't even get out of there. Beautiful. Yeah, really nice take. Spike Again, Sadax flashes, I think, left Victor completely blind twice on the way through, and then they combine that with a Hunter's Fury to make sure there's no, like, cheeky little spots that can be left unclear as they make their way through to the site. Going from the last few rounds that we've seen, probably loud, not so lucky. And the turret was watching for it. Oh, <laughs> even oh it's PP the over here right there. Gorgeous stuff. Not quite quick enough. And now they're actually going to use the lockdown off of that because there isn't going to be a counter on the other side. They can opt to try and force the players back. Aggressive push from Ye, though. At least equalize this thing as they make their move. And while they're going to try and do some damage on the way through. In fact, it's the shot. Oh, oh what? He just runs in. He's taken down three in a matter of seconds. And Marv shuts things out again. It's an aggressive. No, come on. See the lockdown's gone down on the other side of the map, almost to try and like bake them into. Contention. Damn, they have a four stack here. They still managed to get that opener. The oh my god! Be checked, and well, Victor's managing to get one. Ye is still here, marved alongside him, combining, but he's not getting spammed out of that corner. Having to try and re-aggress and take control. Oh. Finesse uses that to make a play. The paranoia so perfect out from him. It leaves Pancada left, and now he's able to use the from the shadows to make it to the other side. This will likely give him an afterplot. <laughs> He's been matched. Marv has done exactly the same thing. So already he, he comes up and over the site, clearing out everything. They know that he's on the back. Pancada trying to hold on. He'll get one, two, and back. Oh my God. Oh, what? It out. Holy five shit. Five. That is the round that loud. Starting to take a peek. Feels the space out. This is so smart from Ye. He's already caught one, looking for a little bit more, but oh. he can't get the reload off on time. They, well, I was going to say they concede the control. Marv just stepped out and took another, and that's the numbers still in Optic's favor. They're delaying with the Nano Swarm on B main. The turret already taken down. They're closing in on the site here on the loud side, and the one for one trades. But do they know that Crashies is already here? Here's the press. Now. They've managed One to catch him out. Remaining. They know that there's a couple of players Spike here, but Sadak, beat. well, he's got 50 seconds to try and isolate one of these duels. He's still expecting players to be in mid. They were flanked from there earlier in the round, but he's having to take the time to clear it out and just look. Are you able to see that barrel from the corner? If, if you're out, like, for the round, more to the so right. Damn, that's some big damage. 
see what I mean? Taking the risks, right? You manage to get that orb, you get the Bladestorm. Aspis can barely afford to dash through that utility, probably go down to it. Paranoia for backside though is perfect. Crash, he's under a lot of pressure right now. This is looking a little bit scary. They're picking up the kills even still. Finesse taken down. They know that Crashies is in the corner and he won't be able to get anything more done. The flank again from Ye. He knows he has an opportunity on the player inside of Market. Or still, Sassy goes down. Okay, we're oh. in a 2v2 with less on 11 HP. They've got to be careful of the man in the site, Pancada, already having one hero play. Wait, does he have flash? No, he does not. The advantage is definitely there at the moment for Optic, just trying to hit the timing on this peak together, but they won't be able to clear that close corner, and they have to almost try and make this move through the smoke. They're going to hear the footsteps running, but it's all left down to left versus Edge. Oh. He can't quite get the last. It will be the half going in favor of Optic. A scrappy one, a back out with more aggression out of them fighting for middle no louder doing exactly the same holy and shit blitz through and wow. surprise the what leaving crashies alone these guys they just took the fight done. to them seven to six okay still round not quite working not quite going as far up as they wanted good pick out of aspis up against opponents with no shields to play with here essentially has an operator to work with and look at him <laughs> making it work left right and center three kills oh the ace that's how you get away with a prime gaming flawless orb. He's it's running. Not, oh my, he's already going he's down running. mid. He's, he's, he's already going down mid. What is this? Aspis is in their spawn. They're powering. They're running and running away. What? <laughs> scared play, and you can understand why. Optic trying to respond on the other side. They've already taken the space on B, pushing up close to the spawn. One kill at least for less. But now he's under so much pressure. Both sides of the map have been lost here. He can be pushed on from every Whoa! angle. What? Spankada with a blind shot through the wall. Puts Loud into a pretty winnable position at this point. Trading it back and forth, leaving Vanessa alone. And that's what? We'll These guys are done. different. Eight to seven. Great answer. Check. I think that was just awareness from inside. Pistols. That recon dangerous has to oh. step back and yay connects to break this and the time is ticking for them to make oh no time back. they've had to run all the way back the contact being spotted but they have been able to get the site even still though the spike is not there just look at the amount of time left. they can't win they, they can't win to make it and the kill comes through anyway so it may be a decent round in terms of what they have economically but they just ran out of time on the clock yay still short but now with a specter with a blade storm it's the dash in it's the fight over for b main and it's not going well the specter comes through to save the day at least it kind of worked i guess Sadik is still pushing holy shit these guys are just sending it oh it's just tapping heads as they peek him every single member falling to this man and you know what aspas decides I don't fancy that. I don't want that heat. Sassy hoped that he could catch them off on the mid peak, but that has not worked either. And Aspas, I don't know how he's the man alive. The guy who <laughs> dashes down, misses his whole blade storm inside of B connector, and then he's fire in position, ready for him to try and make a move. This is just time wasting on the other side of things and Aspas, he can't just give up this position. It will be crashies to swing and find the round and Optus, yay, that's a big mistake. Optic have to slow it down. Uh, yay, not able to get the shot, but Marv follows up. Clicks oh. up, Pankata, still alive. Two players in heaven coming in to help. This is starting to get a little- Oh, he's ridiculous. out. Optic have got to find a big- Oh play. my no, gosh, wait, what? These guys are insane. These sight anchors from Lauda are so <laughs> in towards the round. Loud's aggression on B is about to net him a whole bunch of information, but it might come through too late. Okay, less good in the corner for one. The pressure on Pancada. He doesn't stop. Continues the aggression, and he'll get <laughs> full blinded up. Eventually, hard clear to right. That. With Wait. The flash, peek him right back. Hard clear the right. Round is tied up in a neat little knot. Really nicely handled. Yeah. Go frags. I like this. Aspis ready for the push. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> I thought he was. Oh. He was sort of ready, but I guess he slipped the net. Sadak may be giving some false information based on his position, and because of that, well, we've seen the early trade of the remaining players. We also have a huge opening on this side of the map. In fact, they've already pushed through it. He might not expect it. In fact, it's crashing with an instant headshot to open up this Wait. site. The remaining Did players, I see him? If they're going to expect this, it's a risk from finesse, especially considering they're already in. Oh, wait, no, wait, that's the teammate. I'm stupid. I saw red. I don't know why. I saw red. <laughs> they are with Killjoy Utility helping them out. Oh, no. What? Oh, no, that's not what we wanted. Lars is able to take a double. Optic 
big mistakes towards the end, leaving it all to Crashy. So fuck? He gets one. It's just not enough. Wait. The time, whilst it might be close, I don't think it's that. What? The defuse coming through, and loud. And are the loudest and the most insane in the world. It, it, it's fantastic. Like if you ever want to see a crazy crowd, look at footage from Bella Horizon. I actually don't know what happened like that 10, round. Ten thousand Brazilian fans. I, I would love. To have sneaking his way through. This might be a nasty surprise. This is such an off angle. And he's, he's basically just going to swing straight in. Oh he my gosh. Let's get two. And more importantly, he's got so much information for his squad. They're waiting on the outside as well. Just to almost play this one as a retake. Because, well, you've just lost that many players. You might just back off. Uh, loud, loud got three ultis, so. This opens the door completely. Finesse can now put down the lockdown. And that's exactly what he does. Spike planted. Attack does come through on the mark, so at least they get something for it. And a little bit of time delay isn't going to be the end of the world for Team Loud. They're happy to wait outside of this and push back in. Uh, DP in, yields a little bit of information. They don't yet know about crashes, but he has to go huge on this off angle. And they're smoking him off. His timing needs to be perfect on the way through. And they're even watching Sassy ready for that flight. Dude, Sassy knows exactly what's happening. Aid. Okay, one for crashes, but the defuse is underway. And he can't get a wall. Wow. Pankata was way ahead Did of you? that. Third map. Defuse, leaving. Ready. Attacking side. This is all going to be coming through the tunnel. Pankata. One victor with damage done earlier can convert, but now they're going to start to dive down. Oh my gosh. Static blind siding and leaving it into a two v four. They even know exactly where finesse. Oh, Sacy different. Taken down with nothing to go his way in that. It needed to be a miracle with the. You can see that for now at least. Uh, you have early aggression out of optics, rapid orb, they run back, and now you're going to just see them duel slowly but surely, look to pick off a player of loud here and there, but with the weapons that are in their hands, they have to rely on the element of surprise. Unfortunately for them, it hasn't come through. Yeah, I, I like the attack. One player basically playing straight aggressive, and then the other using the screen as anti flash to try and make his way through. Doesn't work out, but it's an idea that might be something that Optic can try and use into the future of the rounds. I think something that has to be premised, which is, is going to be quite interesting, is remaining. the impact of KO. Because that's the real difference. <laughs> is, I I like, of out of my pattern of like self doubt and. Just having more like sort of a healthier so mindset. Try and play aggressively instead. Crashes on the swing doesn't get much to trade there, but actually it's gone quite well for Lau up Enemy until remaining. the point where the remaining players Spike swing, and now it's left all on Sada. Any more damage would be great. It's only going to be one, but even still, Mitch, three kills in that sort of round, not bad. When he goes around yellow, he won't be able to TP out. He won't be able to escape. Oh, and Spike sends them right eight. into the hands of Finesse, who gets nothing done. A good answer back by Les. Oh wait, this is winnable for them. Oh this shit. This round is now in contention yet again. He's actually got the Viper's pit. Using it here will be a risk. Oh, he baits in the swing. Got oh the my swing. gosh, wait, okay. what? It's it as well. The Red Bull clutch from Les. You don't get that tour de force online. But that's the thing. One kill can make a huge difference. Oh. 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 What? Two bullets from Crashies is all he needs. He's put this round straight back into contention already. They spotted out Victor. They are going to have themselves control onto the site. Yeah, he's gone. He gets his orb, but not in the manner of which he wanted. And after some dangerous potential, they put down the Viper's pit. This can actually work in the favor, though, because they can get nice and close. Rez being baited out. The swing will come off of it to defend. And although it's way too close for comfort with, well, technically four players going in. And unless they're going to go for a bit of a, an audacious plant around the outside, I think that's actually what they're going to do. They're just going to try and uh, avoid this altogether. <gasps> that's the problem, right? <laughs> Being dashed on gets taken down by Aspis. Weapon upgraded loud with full control. The res on Victor going to be committed already. But they've already narrowed themselves down to just basically a Hunter's Fury alongside the Tour de Force from Ye. A lot committed. Optic not getting very much for their trouble. And this oh my gosh. Just keeps on going. Dude, Louder looking so Static confident. With a not it's completely fair because Sadak is an absolute monster with it as well. By a trap, this duel could give them something, but well, Sessi with a huge weapon advantage will take it. Yeah, only barely still. He was left on 46 HP when Victor wasn't even ready for that fight in the first place. And look, with the pistols already, Optic are doing a ton more damage than I would expect this early on into the round. The good thing is, Loud aren't left with nothing for the damage they've taken. They've got sight control, they've got the man advantage to work with as well. 
And the rifle in the hands of Crashy, sure, it poses a threat, but they have a lot of players around here to deal with him. They've heard him drop down as well. So Pancata should be more than ready for that swing. And now the rifle... It's in Ye's hands. It's five oh, HP. oh will they expect the, the Lurker here, though? Time ticking in their favor. Less looks away, but he's got the wow. To clean them Less up. is really owning quality of opponents. We, we doubted whether or not this man would have the confidence. Oh, right they're now, aware of the flash right there. Performing un unbelievably. Finesse, though, a good chance. Maybe oh, Pankata, the flick. The reaction, at least. Crashes in a good position. Drops a spike. Peeks out, lands another. But now he's being hunted. Flank, like, realistically. Yeah, he doesn't need to overpace in this scenario, but he's going to land the shot anyway. Now Sassy starts to doubt where that second player is going to be, because he's managed to get quite far. Stealing the spike's not going to be easy, but instead, he's going to avoid it. He leaves it on the deck, tries to bait Ye into thinking he hasn't gone through, knows exactly oh, where he is. Oh, he saw the arm. Ness is making a play once more. Managing to catch them in the last couple of rounds. He's in a very good position here. First goes his way, but getting out of there is not going to be easy. He's managing to dodge the bullet. Dance around, but Sassy. Oh, back to even. Grave. Caught him on the way back through. Loud. And they're even hearing Victor jump around as well. They know that he's here. He's got his oh. knife out. No idea that Les is already behind him. Les, oh Life my gosh. Available, and it's going to be used to guarantee the plant. And at this point, oh, Sadik, you nasty... Okay, he almost got caught. So close to going down. Instead, he's going to be the thorn in the side, buying so much time for his team. Was optic have to try to deal with him. It's kind of rough. You can't like leave the chamber. Now they know that both players are around here at least. He just has so much pressure right here. It's not going to be easy. They need to close. Sadek actually crashes, wins that battles as well. The thing is, there is a wraparound coming through from Sassy again, going on that late, late flank. He's going to be watching, waiting, killing off those players that they tried to leave, or maybe not killing them off. It's become a very important <laughs> battle. He'll just use his shock down. I think Lower Bracken has advantage because they, they get really put more games not. because they have more practice. Nah. But at the same time, you play more games, out, yeah, the enemy... Having to surrender up the majority of this site. Excellent work from Loud to be able to clear. Pop flash gives them a chance to swing. Crashies already being able to find out one. Yeah, he's got another. The swing from Alves. Oh. He's going to connect and go back. Runs out of bullets, but oh my gosh, what? It leaves Marv alone. He has to retake with the op. Oh, but they're ready for it. For free and puts it into this 1v1 scenario. Sadak trying to bait him in up top, swinging across, even going back around behind him. Neither player really having the information of where the other currently resides, but the spike tap <gasps> might just give it away. Marv scoped in, but the peak doesn't come through. Sadak desperately hoping that someone's going to peek oh. him, and Marv, he will land it. And now they're going to swing back in the other direction. Lesto is actually caught by Crashy. With as well in the hands of Optic. Although well, Loud have theirs. Spike down. Not looking like they're going to keep to use it. Pankata taken down by Marv. Aspas tagged up by the Hunter's Fury, only barely surviving again thanks to Finesse having such a weak weapon. I'm actually amazed he's still alive here. Rez though, looking to try and confirm this one. But it shouldn't really be a chance, that's the problem. He's only got himself a single knife remaining, and while that's already going to dissipate, it leaves it all onto Sassy and a good recovery there from Optic, not allowing anything to come Optic, the Optic are making their comeback. Weapons. More important, yeah, he's walking up. And he's ready for this, he's heard it! But it's too late though, right. Aspas is gone! Like sure, he's, he's gonna get one behind him, but now his teammate's being pressured. Oh. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Landed from Ye. What? It might be enough, Marv also still holding within the pit, they might have wrapped around behind him, What's but he's ready, jam? hiding in the corner. So smart oh just God. to make sure that isolating him is gonna be incredibly difficult. Did she go potty? And he's landing absolutely everything, Sassy still trying to hunt this man within the pit, and he's got lost within it. Yeah, and look, Marv is actually tracing his footsteps as well. <laughs> Sassy walking back that. through, seeing it wide open. He's going to walk into finesse. Round closed out, half closed out, five. And they know there's a player up top now. Sadik having destroyed it less. Grabbing a tag, two players in position. Oh. Sadik able to grab one TP out, and this is a poor start for us. Oh, <laughs> it's one bullet, but actually it's going to be Sadik going down instead. To delay them even further. Slow in. Oh, he okay, used two slows already. Delay a they literally can't go in yet. They're so it's delayed. Really difficult for them to try and push through. Oh, oh my gosh, so the slows. Pine caught played that perfectly. Perfect pistol rounds. <laughs> <laughs> if they have to retake, I think it's already a pretty no, big that problem. Is true. That is true. Sadak's <laughs> here as well, though. Only two bullets left. 
there's only so much that Yeah is going to be able to do here, and they are pretty well set up for a, a quick rotation. Really going down a little bit deeper, but Les just playing above it, and they have a tasty little crossfire to try and delay anyone through. Finesse will at least be able to take one, but it's now left onto Victor just to try and get anything else. Even an extra kill here would be huge going into the next when they have a buy, but it's controlled from Loud. Only one player lost him and end up walking into these other two especially now with the tp faking yeah. out that they've left they've seen aspas they know the other guy's gone but they don't know about less who's tucked up in this corner pancat is being caught pushing a though and this will stop optic from really just running forward and giving it away oh sneaking into them right that's an easy drone might even spot him out in fact he gives Sissy with the bulldog the peak, yielding no results the bulldog tagged up on his way back out and the punish from marv catches both Six on the board for Optic, and what's most important, ridiculous jewels that realistically had no right of ever winning. Still, though, deeper control going to be taken. Not left. really a whole lot they could do. Shock dart. Wow. Close out finesse, so they will manage to get themselves into an. Arc. If they were able to Arf get that snake bite. Tube, hoping perhaps that Sadik goes down to delete that bit of utility and allow him to flank, or to catch the rotations. There's Sadik down. Now it's Marv's time to shine. He's going to be sneaking through, grabbing this off angle, already deleting Sassy. And with this control, they have to go back and deal with him. And Les does exactly that. His third kill in the round. They're defusing inside the orb, but Crashies shuts that one down. A quick double to give the round. Do you know what's crazy? Sadhawk is literally just... He's keeping all the info in the world. So they can have a full stack up on this site. Yes, the weaponry is atrocious. But it's just the numbers that could make it awkward could definitely be the difference maker. Now they've spotted a bunch of players here. Sassy and Les showing up on the pistols. But Pankat is punished on the way back. Les with another. They're even forced to use oh, the forcing reds. Already it's a costly round for Optic. With 10 seconds left, they're in danger. A great tag in. Crashies 14 HP to play with. They can't throw utility at him and they can't get to him. The plant is secured. And Optic now just need to deal with these last two players. But that might not be that easy of a task. I mean, now with the suppression gone, Les can actually uses viper's pit but it's finding the opportunity to do that that's really going to be the problem oh, <laughs> trying to find something on no. the road sadak also has his head on to back which was taken away just moments ago viper's pit now is oh my gosh but instantly removed by victor holy shit what a that was such a clip come past the choke point but now he needs to land his shots tom he doesn't have an escape for another couple seconds there's an opportunity they found my trap. not gonna connect it, and they're, they're now starting to close in on his position. This space is not a particularly good one. Left completely blind, and ah, that has gone as badly as it could have done. Sadak completely isolated, oh. and now Sassy's gonna pop himself the Hunter's Fury desperately, trying to get them something back in this round. It's a couple of tags, but no kills. Some big damage. Oh, Aspas has all the information. He has all the information. Containing them for now. The problem is that the front lines aren't that strong, and now you're going to have players unable to really say anything with their utility. Tankada completely cancelled out. Oh, yes, at least good for a kill, but then they lose spawn. No the danger, DRX. Down, a Viper's pit covering the back. This is a very advanced plant that probably won't be read for the most part. Although Tankada gets past, they're not watching the flank. He's managed to get past oh, no. all of the utility. He smoked it off as he walked through. I don't know if this is going to be expected. Yeah. They've spotted him move within the. Hit. This one should be free. That's at least the first. Now they don't know where the remainder is. Oh. Swing around from Marv might have just changed it. And now it's left onto the Viper versus Viper. Les needs a huge play and he's right on the edge of it. Marv making that move around and just looking to try and tap onto the spike. He's going to get it to half, but surely there shouldn't be an opportunity here for Les to do anything else. He does not know where that last man is, but he made a noise. He's not going to check above, at least for now. His teammates might have Oh my god, Les. And again, Les is going to come. Through when they need him the most. Dude, this guy has balls of fucking steel. Push in. Oh! <laughs> yay, won't hit the <laughs> shot. <laughs> That's that, that is ego in yay. I don't think you'll be used to someone doing that, Tim. Res online. Pankata's managed oh, to come through. What? Victor's completely confused. Dude, I'm he's eating so fast. It's like popcorn. Two, Holy shit. Sadak has found space oh my god. Well, and now it left Five all onto Crashies, trying to take himself home. A one versus five. Well, he'll get the one. But yeah, that round did not go. Making their way forward. And Aspis will be the, probably the first point of contact here. The wall's just gone down, revealing a lot of these players. And a whiff. This could be costly. Aspis up above is taking oh my down. Gosh. But that's the only kill for Optic. They're left oh my gosh. just one man. And Crashies gets nothing done. 12 to 8. 
This is going to be Mapic actually avoided that drone. Okay. Got it flash. down. I'd like the flash play through the smoke, detecting a weakness that that mid play didn't have the utility to cover. The wall's going to be broken, though. They can't commit to the plant instead. Yeah, they standing. stand and fight, and that's exactly what they needed to do. Aspis, the last man alive. Go for him. Available. Oh, First, my God. Be very careful. Three kills for him. Again, he literally did his job. A lot of rebound Get to be able to completely clear him or spot him at least. An aggressive push from Aspis. Has actually dropped. This luck has worked out wonderfully, and now he can try and reclaim that control over the pit. This man is on 30 kills and looks to try and find a couple more. Victor and Ye both one HP. They've been tucked inside this ult the entire time, waiting for the aggression to come through, waiting for less to retake the control. Mm -hmm. And there's the reward. One drop Damn, they hear everyone. Heard. They know now that the A side is where the push oh, will come holy through. Shit. And Sadik has caught them on the cross. Now they can sit back. They don't need to over. If Pankata could get a wall off, or yep. Already, loud one of fight. He needs to slows and everything. This one out with a bang. The res, the one of optic. Not much they can do about that wall. Not going to be. Less. Less over the top has managed to catch another. A viper's pit on the other side and alert from Crashies makes it back into a three versus three, and still the pressure on for loud. Take a look at what loud has to work with here. No, no drone to. Find Marved inside that pit. Rez gonna come through. They're committing to it. 4v3. So difficult to get this control. They hope that the spams will yield them something at least. And they've spotted one up close. Finesse dealt with. This is getting scary for Optic. They're on the back foot now. Stuck right at the back of the pit. Crashies is charging forward, trying to deal with them, and he's doing just that. It's oh my gosh. on to just one. <laughs> this spike is gonna take them both down. Marv, Dude, this is so. What drone clears a lot of space. Problem is that wall's gonna go down fairly soon, so Vanessa does well to close the distance. Pop this down. This is a fake. They baited it out. They baited out the hunter's fury, and oh. now they're gonna pressure him. <laughs> Yay gets that spot on. The timing on Tassassi, there was nothing that he could do. And again, they're gonna start to reset back in the oh my other God. direction, but they're leaving players behind. This push and pull from Optic has been sublime on this attack. And there's only gonna be one man in their way, and he's just not connecting those knives. He has the Vandal to work with, but Sadik going down. The numbers are so thinned out Planted. for Loud. Almost a, oh, okay. Kill for Pancada. Still 2v4. Yeah, I, I think as well the other thing is just that control. Like they're attacking so just because Loud are constantly trying to rotate to work out what they're doing. I was about to lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> I thought, I thought. Oh, they got a full buy. Still watching the gameplay. I see the guy trying to save like. Aspen Don't sorry for being so quiet. I'm like actually like so focused right now. They're also going to pop themselves a Hunter's Fury. This actually pulls more players <gasps> in towards that A site, but it hasn't baited the rotation just yet. Sadak holding. Oh, Sadak's going to be huge right here. If he gets his kill, oh my god. That pick and he nails no, no smokes. That's the problem as well, because that removes the screen. The snake bite down instantly stops any sort of a plan from coming through. They don't have the utility to cover as they push forward. All these angles opening up for loud, and the kills are going. Oh my god, GG. He's left to finesse, and he falls as well. Brazil have done it. They've made history.